Welcome to 5112 Planters Crossing. This is a Blake Taylor resale in Grove Point, Hayhira, Georgia. The only way to get this house, a house like this, a Blake Taylor home in Grove Point, is to purchase a resale. And it is such a joy to be reselling this one because not only is it such a beautiful house on a great lot located well in the subdivision, but the current owners have taken really good care of it. So it's fun for me to come back to this house and revisit it. You can hear the security alarm that just went off and we're in the great room standing in a small foyer that has a stained wood ceiling and you can see a coat closet right there and on the other side is one of the guest bedrooms. But before we check that out, let's explore the common area a little more. You can see the coffered tray ceiling with the recessed lights, the door with the, what are those things called? <laughs> the little slats, the blinds, thank you very much, in between the two glass pieces of the door so they never get dirty. Here you can see how open it is to the kitchen and your beautiful dining area. All open, lots of nice windows there. Notice the pediment work and the thick crown molding. So let's check out this kitchen. Granite countertops, beautiful travertine tile backsplash, all coordinating. The glass doors for the cupboards there. Behind that door that we're looking at is your pantry. And you really get the best of both worlds in this very efficient floor plan. You have this opening and yet you still have your wall so you don't have to get rid of these cupboards. Storage space is always so valuable. You have a pull out garbage. You have a garbage disposal. Stainless steel appliances and this engineered hardwood floor that runs all the way through. Here's a good look at your dining area. Very spacious. And one more look at your living room and check out how that foyer entrance looks from here. We're going to spin right around and go through this archway for the master suite. And on the way out, we'll check out the laundry and the garage. But here is the master. Again, a beautiful coffered tray ceiling with recessed lights. Two windows. Notice the pediments there that look out onto the solitude of the backyard. And let's take a look at this master bath. We'll curve around one more time so you can see everything starting with the walk-in closet right here. And then this granite high countertop with undermount sinks, lots of storage below, and a huge beautifully framed mirror above, well lighted. This privacy window lets the light in, but nothing out. Look, notice the beautiful tile work there, the backsplash and your jetted tub, and then your tiled shower with a glass door. Again, beautifully designed and beautifully taken care of. Two corner shelves there, decorative tile on the floor, step into a work of art, and a private water closet, which, step in with me, why don't you, includes a full linen closet. So no wasted space here. Now we'll go back around into the master bedroom one more look there. And before we leave this hallway, I left the door open to help me remember to show you the laundry. This is very difficult to show in photographs. I'm glad we're taking a video because not only do you have this space here, note the slate floor as we walk through, you've got this fantastic long folding table with wash, dry, fold, repeat already there in case you forget what to do when you move in. And then here is the door to the garage. 
Now we're going to walk across, check out this beautiful kitchen one more time. The dining area, the great room. And let's go back to the foyer and pick up this bedroom that's at the front. It does have a full closet. Many people like to use that fourth bedroom as an office, which is what these current owners have done. Notice the crown molding throughout and the closet there. And now we'll walk across into this archway. I think I pointed out that coat closet to you. And here on this archway, you have two more bedrooms and a full guest bath. So here is bedroom number one with that double window facing the front of the house and a closet. As we go down the hall, here's the bathroom. Look at that beautiful piece of granite, double vanity, slate floor, huge beautifully framed mirror, a nice window, oil rubbed bronze fixtures, and again a linen closet. How nice is this? We'll go down the hall. This is the final bedroom, which if you have someone who would love to have this decor, may have it. Otherwise, the sellers are willing to put the room back to something neutral for you. Finally, let's check out the outdoors. Now, this was nice when they bought it, but they have really enhanced the living outdoors. So here we are in the screen porch with the tile floor. I hope you can hear those birds singing. Note what you have behind you. But note how you get here. Not only do you have patio, you have an extended patio. With this beautiful canopy. Doesn't this look inviting? And you have some privacy fence on the sides, but nothing behind you. No one will build here. This beautiful wooded area is not yours, but it sure is yours to enjoy. Fifty one twelve Planters Crossing.